Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon from Used Boats TV, and I'm about to show you a beautiful 2004 Chaparral 256 SSI that we just got in. Sir. I want an awesome Quick side note, I'm in by no way affiliated with East Coast Marine. Cole's had these shirts on sale for like 10 bucks, so I bought a few of them. Just letting y'all know, I sell boats here at Heartland Marine, and the intention of this video is to show you a boat that I have for sale. You're watching this video on our channel, which shows boats, shows you how to use them, shows you anything to do with boats and boating, water sports, how to fix stuff, fishing, we'd like to go fishing a lot, so if we provide you any value at all, please consider subscribing by clicking down below and hitting that subscribe button. You'll just get an email every time we throw up something new. So we're going to start this video by doing the butt seat test to show you how much room there is on the inside for your friends and family's butts. We'll look at the Joko condition and the interior. Stay tuned to the end for our assessment of this model. Let's get started. Just a good old boy, never meaning no harm. Test is rocking the boat, show much room there is for your friends and family's butts. So this is easy. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. When the cushion's in, seven, eight. So you can put eight in the sole of your boat, which is cockpit floor. Sole, where all the cool stuff happens. Coming up into the deck, eight, nine, really 10, 11, 12 because of leg room. This boat's rated for 14 people. Uh, if you're interested to know how boat capacity ratings are given by manufacturers, down in the description below, I'll include a link to the video that explains that. Now we're going to look at the exterior of this bad gal and keep on moving. All right, let's check out the gel coat condition. So we just got her cleaned up. Rub rail's in great shape. Gel coat's nice and shiny. Now these graphics could always come off if you don't like them. You could do something custom. You could do, you know, newer factory graphics to make the boat look even newer. But in terms of the gel coat condition, that's really the only thing I've seen is not gel coat scuff, scrape, scratches. It's nicks in these graphics themselves. So we got a little ding in the whiskey ding in the rubber rail here. How much you can do about that? You can scrub it out with steel wool, but that's about it. Lifting strakes, reverse chine, and keel are all in beautiful shape. It's got the stainless steel bow scuff plate, bow boarding ladder, stem looks great, the stem. It's got docking lights, pop out cleats, gel coat is in beautiful shape on this side too, drop down whole side, everything looks nice. Now it's got the pump out porta potty, chaparral's have beautiful heads and a window in case it gets a little, you know, nasty in there. So 256 SSI chaparral, beautiful badging, great colors. Gotta love the molded on swim platform. Doesn't rattle, break and shake, unless you weigh like 4,000 pounds. Pop out cleats, there's your water fill. Gas fills typically on the other side. Uh, Bravo three drive, we got some calcium and lime that we need to spray off here, but it's in great shape. Skag's there, capitation plates there, props are there, anodes look beautiful. Another thing you look at when you're looking at used boats, your anodes. The boat spent a lot of time in the water, these would all be corroded. And those are great. Now let's jump inside and take a look. Oh, little nick right there. I'll fix that too. Now let's look at the inside. Molded on extended swim platform with a raised toe edge. Diamond plated skid proof. Place to throw empty cans when you're back here coving out. Rear facing speakers. Trailer trim. Shore power. Well, battery charger, transom shower. Okay, so the vinyl's in really good shape. I saw two nicks that we will fix because here at Heartland Marine, we inspect, check, clean, and correct the boats of for us home to the best of our abilities. Big storage comes back here. Center walkthrough transom, which is really great because it offsets the weight. What I mean by that is when this walkthrough's on the side, there's more seating on one side than the other. So with the U shape, it's nice and even. 
So different boats have different things about them that will be uniquely the same for every model that a brand builds. For Chaparral, deep, deep storage compartments. Coming around, making you dizzy, looking at all the vinyl. It's in very nice shape. It's got your cooler in it still. And that's something I like to point out when I can. People that take care of stuff, take care of all the stuff in regards to boats. You'd be amazed at how many boats that I get in that are missing things like the cooler, like the cushions, supports for the cover, supports for the cushions. I'm gonna show you all that. So we have a nice Korean countertop surface, trash can, big old amplifier, dry storage, place to plug in blender, so we can make some margaritas. This is crazy deep inside of here for the storage compartment. It's got full mooring cover. These seats swivel inside. Carpet comes out, so it's easy to keep clean. So it's got the Bravo 3, 496, fire extinguisher, automatic fire suppression system in the bilge. We can read all of our rocker switches. All of our gauge faces are beautiful. It's got the tan non-glaring helm, tilt wheel. Okay, there was one, Nick. There's a bad repair there that will be able to look, make look a lot nicer. Little mom box for storage. In here, I've got a ton of stuff. So we're talking about all that stuff. We got bow filler cushions. So we can make the bow into a sun pad. We have our sun pad fillers, butt seat and backrest here, here, here. I was like 3D, that was awesome. And then the sun pad filler here. So what cushions does it have? All the cushions. It's also got bow and cockpit snap on covers as well as a full mooring cover. And here I stuff these cushions and then those are the support bars that go in the tracks for the filler cushions. So when you're looking at used boats, you always wanna look at stuff like this, the headrests. See how they're in nice shape? They're not sunburnt, some faded, cracked, split, ripped, tore all to heck. Vinyl's in great shape, all the seams and stitching. These are real cozy, comfortable lounge backs. It's also got the bow safety rugs. You know, kids wanna run up here, get on their knees and look out. Up here in the anchor locker, this is a double deal. Double deal because the anchor can go in there and it's got a bow boarding ladder which is set off. So it's got the pump, pump out, pop out the cleats. There's that beautiful boat. Let's take a look at that big old motor in there. Take a look at the motor. We got our dual batteries with a switch, trim pump, battery charger, 496 mag MPI Mer Cruiser closed cold engine. Some storage over here for some fluids, automatic fire suppression system, water tank and water pump. See our rear facing speakers here. So I get this question a lot on 263 Sinestas, 274 Sinestas, 256 SSI Chaparrels. Why is the motor cover not on it? Because there's not enough room. It'll touch that. Well, my name is Brandon. Thanks for watching. We'll talk about my assessment of this model next. So my assessment of this model is pretty awesome. It's got a 496 in it. It's got a lot of cool stuff, like big stereo. It's got filler cushions, covers. It's got like everything that you could want, really, in terms of parts and pieces. Uh, it'd also be a great boat for a video that I made, the top 10 inexpensive do-it-yourself uh, boat upgrades. Boat upgrades, so you're boating, balling on a budget. I'll include a link down in the description. But for you know, realistically 30 grand, uh, phenomenal deal for everything that you are getting with this 256 SSI Chaparral. And I really forgot my main point. Oh, main point is first year for this model, okay? So they ran with this all the way to like 2007. Then they came out with the SSX, which is a side walkthrough. So really you're getting like the introductory year and we've not had problems with this model period. So it's not like the first year's bud year. No, that's not true whatsoever. It's a great model. That's why they built it for many, many years. But since it is like the initial year, you're paying less. So you're paying less for a model that looks a lot newer because they built it for so many years after. So you're in great shape from a resale standpoint. Well, my name is Brandon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the water. Check out this whole damn boat in there. Hey what's, hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson from Reusboat City, and I'm gonna take you and show you this beautiful, uh, oh. can you see my head? Yeah. Stop making fun of me, Wong. Models popping bottles! Hey!